Hello friends. In this video, we are going to see an example. First of all, let's have a look at the example, which is example 24A. A push button is pressed and released to switch on a motor, which in turn moves a conveyor. A box is placed in the conveyor, which when the box moves and reaches at a certain point, a sensor, let's say a proximity sensor, is used to stop the motor or the conveyor so that water bottles will be placed inside the box of maximum carrying potential or capacity of 12 bottles. After the bottle filling process, which takes 24 seconds, again, then the motor runs again and at a certain point on the conveyor there is again a camera based sensor which checks whether the box is half filled or fully filled. This process takes around 5 seconds and then in case of fully filled the box will move on while in case of half filled a linear actuator is used to move the box back into the second conveyor so that it will go again to the bottle filling process. Now let's head over to the open PLG editor and construct the letter diagram for the given example. Now first of all I will create a new project. And I will click on to create a new folder and name the folder as industrial example 24 I will select the folder change the language to the direct from and I will press OK then I will add power rails one on the left side first of all I'll drag this down Then I will right click on the mouse and sorry, or I could just click here on the power rail and say that I need right power rail, then press OK and I will align them. Then on the variables, my first variable will be start with the type boolean. Then reset. Then memory bit M0. motor and proximity sensor or P sensor for short linear actuator R camera based sensor and half fill. Now I will add a contact here which will be start I'll join these pins and in series, I will add a normally closed with a rest reset. I'll join the pins. Again, I will add a contact, which is going to be in parallel with the start contact here
then on I will add a coil with the same address join the pins on the both sides then I will head on to my second rung and in series I'll use Next waiter I'll drag this down I will add another variable here filling process then I will add another contact with the address filling process join these pins I will again add another contact here linear actuator same negated adjust the block size then I will add a coil with the address motor adjust the size and join the pins for my third one I will add proximity sensor In series, I will add normally closed reset, then onto the function block, the pulse timer. I'll join these pins adjust the block size then I will add the variable here with 24 second as preset time then on to my last rung first of all I will add the camera based sensor Then I will add the half field then I will add another contact reset I will copy and paste the function 
then I will add the coil here with the address linear actuator. I will join the pins. Then I'll copy and paste the variable. I'll join the variable and I will modify the preset time to five seconds. I will start the simulation now. The simulation is complete. I will click on the glasses here. I'll drag this up. Now, when I press and release the button here, you'll see that the motor is true, which in turn runs the conveyor. For now, the filling process and linear actuator is false. So the conveyor is moving on which a box is moving. So when it reaches a certain point, the proximity sensor will sense the box and the proximity sensor will go through and the motor will stop. There comes the filling process the 12 bottles is placed inside the box, which is happening in 24 seconds. And after 24 seconds, the filling process will go false and the motor will start running again, which in turn stops the P sensor or proximity sensor then there comes a point when the camera based sensor will send the box and it will go through and then it will see if that if it is half filled or fully filled if it is half filled it will go through then the linear actuator will place the box half filled box onto the another conveyor and the motor will start running again and the C sensor will go false and the half field will go false again another box is coming and the proximity sensor will sense and the filling process will start for 24 seconds and after the filling process the motor will start running which in turn runs the conveyor. So this thing will go in a loop. And the proximity sensor will go false. Then the camera sensor and the half filled are fully filled and the linear actuator And these two will go false. This concludes our video here. Thank you for watching.